Member Clubs, welcome back to our Rosal Model channel, Member Clubs only, yes, yes, I'm so excited, finally, 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 I find the time to build one magnificent project together with you, my Member Clubs, I love you so much, thank you for all the support, and what, going to be on the club this month, wow, 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 Porsche Carrera GT by Tamiya, and a wonderful Gimbala. Wow, 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 wow. Unbelievable, unbelievable project. Today we will do the unboxing together with me. I will show the parts. I, uh, as I say, people, uh, if you don't know, I uh, build a lot of uh, models for people. And uh, now it's, uh, I decide to find the time together with you and build one model for me and it will stay for me forever because when I build something for myself I never sell it it's not the price it's the uh, the uh, important to me to uh, keep it so this one it will stay with me so let's do it together Mike, Sneer, Shai and many more say, people that in the club David we love you uh, I love you all, thank you for the support guys, I see new people that enjoy and want to see this wonderful project, Tamiya makes wonderful kits, uh, I think they one of the best, and with uh, this amazing trans kit, uh, we can make this car very unique and very nice, we will talk about the color and everything, but let's see the parts guys, because I buy everything for this car, carbon fiber decals, photo edge parts, one more photo edge parts, and it's going to be awesome. So let's start deep in, see everything, and enjoy, guys. Love you very much, Russell Model Member Club. We start now. Yes, guys. So yes, as you can see on the table, the Porsche Carrera GT by Tamiya, wonderful uh, uh, car. I love it so much. This why I decided to build it to myself. And uh, let's dip in, see all the parts in this kit, and after that the trans kit, and the photo edge parts, and the decals. I will show you everything. I hope that you enjoy. It will be a little bit long uh, unboxing, because I want to talk about it. And uh, I hope that you have the time to see all the parts and enjoy. Okay, so let's open it. Yes, yes, yes. Wow, 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 so many parts, I love it. This is going to be a long project together. Let's put everything outside. Let's focus first on the body as I love. Empty. We can put it over there. And let's bring everything out and see the parts, guys. Wow. And new cutting mat. <laughs> Sky blue. I think it's awesome. But look, look this car, so unique, so look at the shape, I love it so much, I have here a mold line over there and over there, we will remove it, I need, I need to cut the rear bumper and the front bumper and also the side skirts and we will talk about it and we will do a different video how to make it together with me. Uh, it's going to be a long project as I say, but look the body, guys, you love it? Me too. Let's continue with more parts, more parts. Uh, usually, uh, I don't think that we will uh, use all the parts over there. We can uh, see that we will not use this wheel. These uh, rims, we will not use it because I have a different rims that uh, come with the trans kit and uh, it's going to be fantastic. We will use the exhaust pipe and of course everything here, but we will do it step by step and enjoy the way, guys. I think we will not use it because this one have only two exhaust pipe and uh, on the Gimbal Mirage GT4. So we will see how to make it. Maybe they have part on the trans kit, but the, uh, the chrome, very good by Tamiya, it looks very real. Uh, usually I not uh, de-chrome it, I just use it, but I think we will not use these parts, so let's see. Okay, here we have the door panel on this uh, sprue, 
also over there the mirrors of the, uh, some part of the car and also the mesh grill that we need to send it and uh, fix it to the trans kit also. The spoiler that we will not use over there, the roof of course we will use the roof and we will put the gimbal parts and also over there this is the hood. Yes, okay. And this some of the part that uh, holding the, the hood, the trunk, I don't know how to call it because if you call it the hood, it means that uh, the, the engine area. So my good friend Asi tell me, no, it's the trunk and the front is the hood. It's never mind if the engine is in uh, front or back, it still say the trunk and the hood is over there. So I call it hood because I, uh, I talk about hood when I uh, talk about engine bay. Okay, so never mind what is correct. Uh, I hope that uh, you understand that I'm not born in uh, USA. I born in Israel and I try to do my best and learn each time the uh, language and speak very well in English. So it's not easy to me. So let's move forward to the next one. Okay, what we have here. This is the some part of the interior. Uh, it's look fantastic, guys. The cover of the wheel over there, the grill over there that we need to cut and uh, put the gimbal also we will not use this this part because we will uh, make a mesh in this size and put it over back. The panel door, part of the spoiler, the hand lamp, the headlights, some part of uh, the interior I think and also the uh, cover, the, the bucket for the seats, yes supposed to sit over there and we will see how to make it right also we have part of the uh, suspension and also exhaust pipe that we will not use because on the trans kit I will show you and here we have option of a lower uh, a spoiler to lower the spoiler as you can see over there or maybe in high position and we will see how to make it and what to do okay let's continue wow it's a big piece as I tell you guys, this is going to be a very long project, so I hope that you enjoy and learn something new. Yes, over there we have uh, some part of the engine and also the suspension and the disc brakes. And uh, also over there, suspension, the cylinder cover red and uh, some uh, part of the uh, steering wheel and two parts of the engine and the airbox, as you can see over there. After that, we have the dashboard. Okay, some part of the dashboard. I think it's very nice and very unique dashboard that we will try to make a carbon fiber look and also a Alcantara later, later and we'll see how to handle with this. The two seat guys of Porsche, they look fantastic. Really nice, uh, ugly detail. Uh, I already built this kit and I know it's amazing kit. The, uh, some of the headlights over there, the steering wheel, the handbrakes, some the panel door, this is the part of the panel door, the center console, it's over there. And you can play with the color and it will be awesome. Over there you can see it's a part of the seats that come here, you can make it in carbon fiber, we will definitely make it in carbon fiber and we will spray a 2K clear coat on it. The disc brakes, I decide if you use it or not, in later time this caliper brakes over there. As you can see, very nice, molded, amazing, amazing kit. <laughs> this is why I decided to build it, because I think it's amazing. Okay, over there we have uh, some uh, big parts of all the interior, the chassis. All the chassis connect. I have a top, uh, uh, sorry, Studio 27 parts uh, to make all this in carbon fiber, and I will show you how to make it. This also part of the interior and this is the lower of the car with all the diffusers and I think it's awesome. Three parts. Everything look amazing guys with no defects. I happy that I have wonderful kit over there. Over there we have some small clear parts that I don't sure that we will use it because we have a different uh, grill and different uh, spoiler. We just use the, uh, the light over there. It's also in clear blue. And it's fantastic. Do you see how much is clear? 
nice. Wow. Yes, over there we can uh, uh, put it out, and after that I will put it in bay because this is the clear parts. When you remove it, verify that you remove the metal uh, holder over there because this can destroy your uh, your uh, clear parts. I will remove it very slowly to show you. Look how much they clear. The windshield, also small parts of the uh, headlights, the side lights over there. Wow. This is the headlights over there. And this one is uh, to create a, a mesh that uh, Tamias create over there. I will show you, but we will not use it. We just use it for template to make a real metal mesh and after that we will paint it this is uh, my technique and i will try to show you how i make it okay let's put it back in the bag because it will take time until we arrive over there let's see what we have here wonderful unboxing wow carrera gt with the metal sticker of uh, the mirrors and the, the inside mirror and uh, we have a template for the to paint outside and inside the windshield so keep attention for that as we speak do you see over there it's a kind of decal to create the mesh on the clear parts so we will not use it i think it's not look very nice we will try to make a template for uh, the mesh of the engine it's not easy because I already made one, but it's not easy. And also over there, this is a decal I have uh, from uh, the metal uh, parts, uh, photo edge parts, a real one. We will use the indicator over there and some of, of uh, the light. It's supposed to uh, put uh, on the light and I will show you how to make it. So what we have more, let's remove it over there. We will we use protect fill, it's good from dust and everything. Let's see what we have here. Yes, over there we have the tires and some of the polycap. We use the two polycap in each one. Keep attention to the tires. It's have a wide and smaller one. So keep attention to that and see what you need to do. Which one I suppose that the bigger one, the wider, go for the back. So keep attention for it. And what we have here, it's a eight polycap. Yes, eight. I think that, that you need to put two in one wheel and a metal rod for the, I think for the back of the wheels. It's all look the same guys. It's all look the same. Let's make a quick uh, review on the, uh, over there, the, uh, the the sheet, let me bring it closer a little bit that you will see. Uh, as you can see over there, is the, the required tools, but if you advance, you know that you can use many things. Part number one is to uh, prepare the engine with a, look, very interesting one. And I talk about it a lot in my uh, video, but now you can see it by Tamiya, tech tip. As you can see over there, it's mean lacquer paint and after that arrow to acrylic paint and after that arrow to enamel. It's mean that you can paint first lacquer and after that acrylic and after that on top of it enamel. And then you can play. How I play with Q-tip, remove little bit from enamel and then I discover the acrylic. And it's wonderful thing to do when you uh, play with color and you want to put some area that you paint and make a diamond cut on the wheels and things like that. This is awesome things to do. So you can use acrylic and after that enamel, okay? And then it's imagine that you paint everything in silver, acrylic, silver, and after that in enamel black. And then you can take a Q-tip and create diamond cut. And you can do it on the, as many many places, on the wheels, on the, uh, on the seats and things like that. And it's amazing. But Let's continue, okay, part number two, it's to put the engine over there with the airbox and everything. We will play with it, we will see how to paint it. Sorry. Yes. Over there is to put the exhaust pipe. As you can see, the exhaust with everything. And after that, the disc brakes. As you can see, also the suspension, how to make it with the spring and everything. They uh, fully detailed with 
how to paint it, but you can choose any paint that you want to paint it. And uh, you remember, it's a model, you decide which one. Okay, over there you can see the interior, how to paint it, which kind of decal you need to use. Uh, and it's also part number seven is put the engine to the chassis, as you can see over there. Engine to the chassis. I hope that you can see. Yes. After that, how to connect the uh, front, sorry, the back of the uh, brake system, and after that, to connect it to the chassis. And after that, we move to interior, the door panel. As you can see, ABC, it means that you can make a wonderful interior, or maybe A, maybe C, or maybe B. As you can see, it's different colors to make it uh, unique and wonderful. Uh, wonderful. Okay, over there we have the, uh, as you can see, we have the interior, the dashboard, how to make the dashboard. I think it's fantastic. Keep attention to the details and uh, paint it very nice. Also the cover of the wheels and how to put the hand brakes over there and the pedals. After that, the airbox over there and also the panel door that connect to the chassis. And you have the interior. After that, in uh, part number 12, sorry, 13, it's a uh, show you how to handle with the uh, headlights. And after that, what is it? Yes, start to assembly parts to the main body, as you can see over there. And after that, more parts to the main body. Uh, we will not focus each time on a uh, part because we have uh, some custom parts from uh, uh, the trans kit himself. And uh, so we will try to make it good. Over there, you can continue to make the windshield masking, see which one go where. After that, we talk about this. They want you that you use the clear parts over there on the, on the hood. And after that, use the decals. I think it's look weird, but you can try to make it. Also over there to connect the hood, the trunk, like as I say, and after that with the holder over there. And after that you need to connect everything to the body. This is wonderful part that we will do, definitely will do together. After that, the lower area, as you can see over there, connect together. And after that, as I say, two polycap to the wheel. They have a narrow one and a wider one. To keep up on it. And this is a, one of the parts that uh, I love to glue before. This area for the, uh, for the roof over there. After that, they tell you, put all the wheels. And in the last, they talk about the spoiler over there, as you can see. The spoiler, you can decide a lower area and also the upper area. After that, they want to use a metal sticker, as you can see, and put in the mirror inside. And after that, put the mirror, as you can see. Yes, and after that, the exhaust. Do you see? On this uh, Carrera GT, we have only two, but in the gimbal, they have four. So we will use a mesh and see how to handle with the all the area of uh, the uh, the exhaust to create exactly the mesh over there and after that you need to put the roof and that's it get we finish let me see together with you yes 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 and in the end they will show you how to put and where to put the decals and how the car is supposed to be okay the decals and how the car is supposed to be it will not look like that it will look very different but uh, this is the kit more or less. They have a part code and part list. If something broken, you can keep a contact with uh, some shop and they will de uh, order for you some uh, parts. And it's amazing how to apply decals. I know that you know it, my dear member club. But, but after 20 minutes, now it's the real thing. Pam, 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 Geronimo. Geronimo, how are you? This is the kit. It sent me and tell me this is you going to be enjoy. So let's see what we have inside. Tam ta ta tam tam tam. 
Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa! Awesome, awesome, awesome! Wow, it's wonderful things to show you. Just look on it, guys. Yes, remember that we talk about two exos? So they create a mesh over there of two exos and you need to put it in the center. This is the difference between the Gimbala, I think, and uh, the normal Carrera GT. Let's see if we have something here. No. So let's start. This is the... Uh, you need to create a template for the uh, this area. Just a minute, I will show you to this area, okay? And it will be very, very, very nice. But, but, but I decide that it's more easy when it's come like that. And it's just need to bend it, okay? So you can take a template to create it and use the mash, honeycomber, but they already made by Studio 27. And uh, also on uh, Hobby Design inside they also have. So I buy them and I see which one is better for me. And it's going to be also, we will explore, don't worry, but let's see the parts, guys. Wow, 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 wow. This is awesome, awesome, awesome. Look, let me first remove everything from the plastic bag and after that we will explore and see how it looks like. I'm very excited to build it, I think it's awesome. Okay. So yes, guys, this is the lower and the back area of the Gimbala. It's very different. As you can see, I don't know if you can see, but they have a big area over there of mesh that we need to cut and put. And also over there, the mesh for the exhaust, it's supposed to sit over there and it's going to be awesome. We will cut it over there and also over there and we will install it. And I think it will be very nice uh, to see it we will do it on the next part, I promise you. We will focus on the body and we'll prepare it for the next step. Also the side, the side skid, the panel door, it's, we need to cut it over there. As you can see over there and over there. And we'll need to use it like that. And it's very nice because you have the, uh, uh, the air vent for the disc brakes. This is all the meaning and uh, I think it's awesome to see it. Also over there, it's the same for the other area. The raisin look amazing, guys. Uh, wow. But look, the aggressive look of the gimbala. I think we need to cut it over there. And also over there, very gently, I will uh, dip it. And after that, break it. And we will install the new one. And it will be very, very, very nice. Wow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's look awesome. I hope it will fit perfect, and if not, I will send it and put a putty in a epoxy until I be satisfied. Okay, over there we have uh, more parts. I think uh, this part going to on the uh, on this area on the hood. It's supposed to sit like that and connect it and connect to the roof. And on the roof we have this part. Okay. Do you see? Very accurate. Okay. Do you see it? The roof. So you need to paint it. Maybe we will do it in carbon fiber. And also this one. It's supposed to sit over there and it will create a wonderful thing. I don't know if you can see it on the photo. I will try to find a photo for you. Yes. As you can see, this is the original car I find on web. And uh, this is how it's going to look like. Over there we have a, a because, because, because on the uh, normal uh, car. We need to put it, the diffuser over there. It's the lamp, okay? They created for the lamp, so we will use it. We will definitely put a carbon fiber on it and uh, we'll see how to handle with it. And it's going to be awesome. So let's continue with the trans kit. Wow. Awesome. Yes, over there we need to also cut the, the hood. Because on the hood we have a hair vent and as I talk, we talk, we talk, we talk. And look, this is the exhaust. This is supposed to replace this exhaust. 
because on this exhaust we have only two and on this exhaust, sorry, over there we have two and on this we have four. Remember, on the gimbala we have four exhaust pipes. So they will provide us and it's very nice. Super, look this spoiler, guys. Super, bigger one. Definitely we will put it in right, in right position and it will be very nice. Also over there we need to cut the hood and put the aggressive look of this hood. As you can see, it's amazing. Wow. <laughs> Wonderful trans kit, yes. This why I decided to make it. I think it's awesome. Okay, many more small parts. I don't know exactly which ones go where. We will just see it. Come here. I think this is wow. Yes, as I, as I can see, one of the parts is the lamp, I think. I will see after that which which one go where. As you can see, small uh, metal uh, parts. And uh, this is the four exos. They printed with the 3D printer, as you can see. We will cut it and see how it's going. I think definitely it's supposed to sit, yes, inside. And will give a wonderful look when you leave it like that little bit the metal parts yes I'm right so it's not the lights <laughs> this is the lights on gimbal on the side over there we have two lights smaller one so we will use it for the lights and I think it's also also by a 3d printer and this one I need supposed to cut some of the area over there and put it over there like that this is the air vent for also for the uh, radiator. This is a part of the spoiler. It's lifted up like we love. Okay, so two pieces for the spoiler. We will definitely make it in carbon fiber and I will show you some wonderful tricks. This part, uh, I don't know what is it, but it's supposed to sit over there on the, this piece. I think it's some kind of venting directly to the engine because it sits on the hood. And this piece is a flowing of the direction of the air that you need to put over there. As I can show you. And it's supposed to sit over there and it's create the airflow to the, this part. Okay? Everybody see? Awesome! Yes, yes, yes. And in the end, uh, we have also the wheels. What I love in these wheels is they don't look very different from the original one, but definitely we can make a two-tone, two-tone wheels, guys, because this is a braking and you can paint it in a different color and after that put it inside and play with the color, silver and gunmetal and things like that. And it's awesome. Uh, wow. I love it so much. Yes, what we have here more, it's a kind of a decals, metal sticker of Gimbala Mirage GT. As you can see, we will definitely put it on the back. Yes, over there. And uh, I have here some headlights, and smaller headlights. I think it's more nice and a wonderful look from Tamiya that send us clear parts. I think this is amazing. I hope that you can see it. Maybe the bigger one you will see. Just a minute. Yes, this one. It's look fantastic and very real, guys. Also, we have uh, some kind of decals of Gimbala and also the logo of the Gimbala and things like that. Just wonderful look. Okay, we will not remove it because I want to handle with everything. Over there, we have all the. Uh, how to make it, how to uh, fit the trans kit to the original one, verify the panel door, sit perfectly. As you can see, we need to cut and remove the hood and the front bumper and also the rear bumper. And as we speak, do you remember this piece? We need to adjust it over there. And also we talk about the diffuser over there with the lights. So this is the part. Over there, it means that you need to cut the original part D3 from Tamiya and put it inside and after that, this two. Because it's very different over there and over there, it's a little bit wider. 
so we need to fix it perfectly okay over there let's say that we need to just cut a little bit from the chassis over there from both sides to uh, put the other two uh, exhaust pipe over there we need we see the I don't know how to call it, a cowling towel, tower to the hood, something that air vent go inside from uh, outside to the, uh, the hood, I think it's awesome, and also the spoiler over there, and what is it, let me see, yes, this is how it's look like from a side view, okay, of the hood, it's supposed to sit like that, we will make a test fit, also the exhaust pipe with all the 3D parts that come like that, and uh, we have one more page that talk about okay over there we need to use the Tamiya and cut it and fit it to this area of the uh, side skill okay over there the panel door because this one is a little bit longer so and this one little bit smaller so we need to cut it and fill inside and verify this uh, uh, seat perfectly okay uh, what we have more as remember the on the hood we have the also the tunnel for the air, air for the air the icon of the air and also some lip over there and over there they, they say that you need to cut this tamia part and send it little bit and fit it to this area okay so we will do it also over there where to put the mash okay fit it to the exhaust and uh, the mash sit perfectly we will try to handle it and see how it's going also over there we have a mesh that we need to cut and put it over there and it's amazing guys yes amazing 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 i'm so happy that i decided to make it okay as you can see over there the real mesh that you need to template and also on the hood over there they have a mesh and this is the template for the mesh if people have it and uh, want to create a template, take a, a masking tape and create a template but if you buy already this one so it's more easy and we will explore it in a couple of seconds and also I have the gimbal on the airbox that we need to glue before we paint and after that paint everything together you can play with acrylic and enamel over there and paint it in silver and after that wipe it off and uh, it will stay and it's, it will look fantastic Yes, over there they say marking uh, where you need to put the decals. One, two, how to make it, Mirage GT. It looks fantastic. You can paint it, uh, the metal sticker, and it will be awesome. You can use four, also over there, the caliper, gimbala, and everything. This is uh, the masking that they uh, send us the decals. <sighs> wow, long review, yes but you are the best and I want you build the best so let's explore the next things here over there I think it's a uh, more uh, unique and nice to, to add the uh, photo edge parts and decals and uh, let's see what we have here okay this one very simple where to put everything how to put the Porsche on the airbox and uh, some uh, wow it's amazing i love it so much they look this look amazing this kind of uh, a photo edge part by uh, studio 27 uh, i definitely use it and on the mirrors and everything i will try to do my best to show you how i make it and awesome awesome it's very a uh, wonderful thing also we have the pedals over there the metal plate and how to make the hood take the template and curves to the shape and it will be nice to see and uh, do it together okay uh, I have alternative way uh, over there I buy also the uh, OB design I don't know it's uh, ever more template and uh, like that a little bit bigger and uh, also the disc brakes that you need to create if you want to go further with it and not use the part from the Tamiya they give you a caliper as you can see and you can play with it and it will be awesome many parts of a 
photo edge pads. It depends on you how, to, how you want to make it. The two brands make wonderful things. I don't know if you want to take it and make all the uh, disc brakes, it's up to you. You can enjoy with it and uh, I will decide how to make it. Also we have a, a buckle and it's wonderful guys. Wow, look how many things that you can make. In one car, in one build, take it far away. Take it far away, make it real. Okay, so. The last thing that I want to talk about it is you see this Asi now with very angry about me. It's, me. it's tell me why you buy it. Make a template, make your own template. So people, yes, I you know that I need to build for many people cars and I don't have to, uh, time to make all the templates in the world. So I prefer to buy and use carbon fiber decal by top studio they look fantastic they brand new and it's wonderful i can smell it look all the parts all the parts that i want i have it over there for the chassis and i have also how to make it and we will do some several parts uh, several parts of to make how to make it, and it will be awesome guys so i think it's going to be awesome yes what do you think let me know what you know, what you want to see, which kind of uh, a part it's more important for you on the, this, uh, this build. Uh, I will try to do my best to show you because you know in the end uh, this car is going to be mine. Yes, so I decide which color, uh, more or less, I can talk about it, but uh, you will see and enjoy. Member Club, I love you so much. Oh, now my workbench full of project and I love it so much. See you next time, guys. Uh, I hope that you enjoy this project. Wow, 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 wow. On the next video, we will start with the body. We will fit all the body. We will send it and prepare it for primer. This is will be long part because I want to show you how I cut things and uh, my technique, how I glue and everything. So until now, that's it. Love you so much, people. Thank you for joining. Thank you for the support. I know that you wait a long time for a video for the club. I know that uh, many of you enjoy the club and uh, it's awesome to me to see you in the club. And uh, let's dance with this wonderful build, guys. Bye bye, Rosa Model Channel. Remember clubs only.